Hey guys, how's it going? It's Gregor right here on the Cross Crypto Show. Yeah? I'm not only welcome to my new episode, this is Samba, I'm only a, but this is my 500 video special. 500 videos. We just have a few 1000 videos. I wonder if, um, what about the, if, um, I think if I subscribe to the channel, I need to 1000 videos. What will happen? But, 500 videos with me and about two of you all will come to me. Let's dive into it. The 27th of my feature is Horror and Company. Oh boy, this song. So the song for the song is based off a the Todd Dickens classic of the twist. Or in this time it's the cat is an enter, so not the not kid not even kid. Okay. The story focuses on an orphan old kid named Oliver. And and he come across a cool cool dog named Dodger. He ends up being in a dog park run to owned by a homeless person named Craig and tries to save money to um to a to his DM named Sky Skype in three days. So Oliver and the dog help him to get the money. But um after a um after a little fake accident, then a little girl named Jenny finds all of her takes him her takes her him home, takes him to her house because she she because she thought because she thought that he was an orphan. And um the dog um tried to win back off her back but Turns out that Oliver wants to be at Jenny's house, and well, and Jenny ends up being kidnapped by Sky. Oliver and the dog try to save him. They go home. They go to Jenny's house just in time for Jenny's birthday. The dog return home with Vega and Oliver lives with Jenny. Whatever the end. Oliver and company. I'm going to say this right now, this is my second favorite Disney film of all time. This film, wow. This film is so like a punch in the stomach. This, if I can describe Hover and Company in one word, it will be hard for me. I, there's many moments in the film where I just wanted to cry. There's the the film has so many feels that just hits you. I'll get to more into that later, but for now let's go into the characters. Okay, that picture is like an anthropomorphic of oh, this movie, so let's go to the better picture. There we go. And uh, and there's a main picture too. The shiny details. Sweet. A little fun fact about all of her. She was one of those main she was one of those main Disney protagonists who doesn't spend any number in a, in the film. Hmm. Although he does do this. Uh, yeah. Mm-hmm. And one of my favourite kittens of all time are the Ginger kid, ginger, ginger cats in general, because I just love ginger cats so much. I there's no time to come across them in life much, but just being careful with creating, I 
Disney Plus Disney character the best. But also, definitely one of my favorite Disney characters of all time. He's, he's adorable. Um, and the main, sorry, the main protagonist is, uh, not only, well, despite being not having a musical number to himself, he is very lovable, adorable, and, you know, what is it adorable? Um, favorable, that's it. Moving on. Dodger. Well, this guy. Wait, you can't go wrong with Dodger. I just love Dodger so much. I guess he must be the second best character in the film. I'll get to that later. He is also has his personality, like how he's all cute, like he does have nothing uh, nothing to worry him. We'll get to that in a second. Um he has like a like a brotherly slash father figure to all of us. Oh, uh, why would a oh actually it's more of a probably figure to all of us. I mean, why would a father kill his son to like uh, speak to um speak to him like in a cool uh cool way? I mean, fathers don't do that. Um, and one last one thing. Dodger is voiced by Billy Joe. Yes. The Billy Joel, the person who died in many years of age because of uptown girl. And I think Two Shows is the only movie, I think that was the only movie that Billy Joel had a role in. I think it's not. Oh my god, it is. I wonder if Billy Joel is going to have any more movie roles in the future. Well, maybe. Or he just became just a music producer. Hmm. Yeah, I love Dodger. I love his personality, his attitude, and his second best character of the film. Moving on. Rita. Not really sure what kind of breed she is, but, uh, but I do like this uh, character. I mean, at first she was, um, she was just a little bit, um, uh, at what I call pet-sit to all of her, like, call her puss. She's always just a cat. Yeah, like a gruff. Like a gruff. Like a grunt voice. But, uh. But she's all cool and calm and. She. And. She's exciting as well. So I do like her. Read her. I mean, the dog. I mean, the dog breed, whatever she is, is pretty stunning. Look at that. Geeko. I do I think it's gonna be the third best character of the film. Like a Mexican Chihuahua with a half bitten ear off. That is all right. Yeah, I do like she always says like oh no kitty man and like oh I think she likes me man. Like she says man a lot. I mean I mean, I'm pretty sure that's a Mexican stereotype, but I think that's a Mexican stereotype, um, they, they push it a bit too far, I mean, they're forcing it too much. And I do like his attitude as well. And he's got some nice funny lines as well. So I think this might be the third best character. And then the best dog is Spanky, I mean, Fonster. I do like this character a lot. I mean, he's a bulldog, and and it's not say like a wise dog from a pack, uh, just by Dodger. But um, he's more of a typical British. Yeah, he's he is British by the way. He has a British accent. He's not more of a stereotypical British. Which is posh people, it's so like, Oh, you gotta behave. That's the way you made to cheat us. You know. So I was all like, Stop that, you know, much. So, uh, you get what I mean. And he just 
how do I what shall we um uh have a have a fun have fun as well like I just um big deck of this on that deck and the last dog of the pack is I okay we have a boy there you go I saw it hey there he goes is Mr Einstein there goes himself right there. Okay, they I say anything. He's up now. He's up. He's up. He's up. Okay. 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 Stop. 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 Okay. Okay. Oh, hello, boy. Einstein. Well, it's not much to Einstein. Um, just for a bit. I don't spend so damn long. Sorry, um, it's not much to Einstein, it's just probably the most, probably, um, the most, uh, um, well, how do I describe him? Probably the most dimwit head of the group. And, yeah, because of his, of his voice as well. So, Einstein, not much to really just ask Einstein, but he's okay, I guess. Now then, oh wait, still got two more characters to go through. Um, who's next? Who's next? Who's next? Ah, oh, Jenny. Jenny is is a really nice little girl. Jenny. Now this is a proper pet owner. This is what pet owner should be like. A pet owner should be um caring to to cat. Be a faithful to cat. Like, uh, she won't do anything to keep all of her safe and sound. Like, and I don't get why, um, her, her, um, her, um, uh, what do you call them? Her, I don't call her Council. Council Winston. That you need to ask the parents first in order to keep her. And then keep all of her. I mean, it's a lost cat. You have to keep him. You have to keep keep. Have to keep him in until, you know, the flies come. So people can can come to find him. Um. Of all, Jenny, I get to her in this. In this. The last character is Fagan. And yes, it is a homeless homeless person, but it's not. Well, kind of stereotypical, but it's not too much stereotypical. And he's a funny, he's a pretty good, pretty uh, comedic character. Like, like, I like the thing, um, one of my favorite scenes from the film was, um, when, uh, he's playing Skype as a dead, like, villain of the film. And, and he gives him a chest full of, oh, uh, uh, valuable things. And he just wants money and tries to hurt him by like pulling the wi pulling the wind pulling the window up his neck and like that's pretty cruel too. Of all the characters then, let's get into his world. Okay, first of all the song that really made me cry the first time was a song Once Upon a Time in New York City. This song just touches me. Oh my god, this song. I just keep screaming like the feels or whatever. Now, let's go into the next next one. Why should I worry? We're fourteen minutes now to play up. Why should I worry? The most important rule is you gotta wear sunglasses while playing the song. And we got many cameos from other dogs like Chuck and Trust to some radio as well, but even Pongo finds one Dalmatian. This is the best one of the film. So, uh, no, not perfectly, it's even easy. Pretty cool song, but yeah. Big Company, oh, this touched me right in. Second time I wanted to cry. The third time is the ending. And the second best song is Streets of Gold. Good Company, yeah. So, overall, this is the second best Disney film ever made. 
in my opinion, it's so hard to manage. Excuse me, Phil. I'll give all of her testing a 10 out.